fuck nuggets. What's poppin' mother truckers? I'm the coming attraction. We back at it like a crack addict with another NBA 2K21 challenge video. If you guys haven't already though, be sure to hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. You wanna say you were here in the first 10K. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to go chase your dreams today. There's nothing in this world that you can't do, but let's get into the video. All right, Mother Trucker. So today in NBA 2K21, we're taking the Incredible Hulk and we're taking Shaquille Fat Cock O'Neal. And we're going to see if the Incredible Hulk can hit a full court shot before Shaq can hit one three pointer. Most importantly, though, this will be a battle between the two biggest penises on earth. All right, guys. So the Incredible Hulk is obviously gigantic, coming in at 7'7, seven 350 seven, pounds, which logically means he has a fat cock. You boys ready for your cock meat sandwich? Obviously, since he's the Hulk, that means he's strong as hell. So we had to give him a 99 strength. These will help tremendously in shooting a full court shot. We also made him amazing at handling balls, if you know what I mean. On the other side of the challenge with Shaq now. First of all though, imagine spreading some of your frosting on those juicy lips. You're a monster. Big Big O'Neal only has a 25 three point shot. It's gonna be basically impossible to make one with him. We'll be starting this challenge out with the Incredible Hulk shooting full court shots. And as always, I have a timer below my bald ass head so we can see how long it's gonna take. Without further ado though, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. The timer has started and we're shooting these full court shots and oh my goodness, in and out. Holy fuck, that was actually closer than I thought it was gonna be. Once again, this is one of those challenges where there's absolutely zero strategy involved. This is kind of all just based off of luck, but it's kind of some skill, man. I mean, what player is gonna be able to shoot full court shots better than the Incredible Hulk? He's strong as fuck, you know? I got a couple talking points I wanna go over today. Number one, do you guys think that the Phoenix Suns are gonna win tonight and Chris Paul is gonna go to his very first NBA Finals? Oh my god, that was close. I think he is, and honestly, I think Chris Paul is one of the most underrated players in NBA history, if not the most underrated player in NBA history. If anybody deserves an NBA ring, it is Chris Paul, man. I mean, that is seriously one of the greatest point guards of all time. In my opinion, a top three handle of all time. He's always overlooked when in that conversation. And I can't lie, it also helps that they're playing against an absolute choke artist in Pandemic P. Second talking point, what the fuck is up with space, bro? Have you guys ever just been outside looking up into the sky and you see these fucking bright ass lights in this big ass circle that's just sitting out there and think, what the fuck am I on, bro? Honestly, if you did, the more you think about it, it seems like space is just fake as fuck. And when you look into it... Now, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying whenever you think about the fucking fact that it just goes on forever and that there is just infinite shit out there that that is like pretty much impossible to wrap our fucking finite minds around and i don't even like thinking about it too much but it's been on my mind heavy lately also i live in missouri and i don't know if it's like this for any of you guys but there are times where like the moon just isn't fucking out there bro the moon just isn't there i don't understand it's like the government forgets to turn that shit on or something or the other it's just it's not there me and my brother were walking around the other night and looking all around And there is no fucking way that just happened in three minutes and 35 seconds. The Incredible Hulk is overpowered as fuck, bro. Gotta be the best superhero. Holy shit. A full court shot in that amount of time. Yo, Shaq is done for, bro. We got Shaq out on the court now, though, guys. And I have no other explanation for what just happened other than I'm the best fucking player in the world. And if you ain't down for that, then I got two words for you. Suck it. I got the Incredible Hulk's time to be down in the bottom left-hand corner, though, guys. And we're just going to get right into this with Shaquille O'Neal. I see no chance that he beats this. But, oh, yo, on the first attempt, though, he actually got pretty fucking close. Holy shit. We got three minutes and 35 seconds to try and do this with Shaq, bro. In the last Shaq challenge we did, I got into a huge tangent and a huge rant about how I would take one for the team and be the sacrificial lamb on the guy that had to smell Shaquille O'Neal's asshole, just so I can say that I am one of only two people on the earth who have smelled what his shit smells like. What? We don't want to get into some crazy conversation like that, though, again in this one, man, because that is just a little bit too raunchy a talk, and this is supposed to be a PG channel. I'm just kidding. This is literally the furthest thing from the PG channel, but as you guys can see, we are already 50 seconds in, and we have been nowhere near a make other than the very very, very first shot that we shot with Shaquille O'Neal and the intense music is already on because the Incredible Hulk did the challenge so fast that we have to have the intense music on because this is an intense challenge from the get-go. We're taking a look at his hot spots here and guys it is nowhere near the three-point line and like I said he has literally the lowest rating that you can possibly have as a three-point shooter in NBA 2k which is a 25. If it could be a zero I'm sure it would be a zero but you have to at least give him a puncher's chance right? Where are the rebounders? Where are the fucking rebounders? Oh my gosh we're a minute and a half in and the balls are literally all over the the place. That's what she said. You don't even have any rebounders. This is making it even tougher on Shaq. Fuck, bro. 
Come on, Shaq. You're Superman. You can't let Incredible Hulk beat you. Everyone knows that Superman's better than Incredible Hulk. Surely you can do it, bud. Come on. Hurry. Hurry. Come on. We're two minutes in. You got a minute and, what, 35 seconds left to go? If that math is correct, quick math. Come on. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Back up. Back up. Back up. Shoot it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There is no way that this just happened. Two minutes and 31 seconds. I'm thinking probably, like... That was in two minutes and 31 seconds. I probably got up like 60 something or so attempts. So Shaq actually made a three in like 60 attempts. Dude, I thought there was no way he was going to win this challenge after seeing what the Incredible Hulk put up. That just goes to show the ladies and gentlemen that anything is possible in these 2K challenges as Shaq comes out on top in a shooting challenge. And that is going to bring this episode to an end though, ladies and gentlemen. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, we're on the road to 10,000. You want to be here in the first 10K. But I just want to say thank you so much for the support on the channel. You guys can do anything you want to in this life be sure to go chase your dream today but thank you so much for the support thank you so much for stopping by and i'm becoming attraction